Hi Taurus, welcome to Key Wisdom Tarot. Um, my name's Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me on the channel. Um, I hope you've viewed your August love reading, which have gone down extremely well. So thank you, um, Taurus, you always support me. Um, okay, this is going to be, um, a, well, it's a tri-weekly re reading really, <laughs> between the dates of August the 11th and September, excuse me, August the 22nd and September the 11th. Um, I'm going to draw um, six cards. The first three are going to relate to the time between now and the th end of the, the month. Uh, so the 22nd to the 31st of August. And the second three cards are going to relate to the following week, which is um, the 1st of September to the 11th of September. Um, I will pull as many cards as necessary. Obviously, I, I've already shuffled the cards and I've already meditated um, before I started um, doing this today. And um, I, the cards are ready to go. Um, okay, Taurus. So the first card um, is the your first card is the Eight of Cups. Um, this is not the second card. Oh, yours is your message is is um, coming through intuitively. Um, well, they all do, but you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> That's for this week. And um, those are your first three cards for this week. And these are your cards for next. Yeah, it's this one for next week. Now, the reason I do them face down is so that I don't get distracted by the energies. Okay, so the first card that you have um, for this for this week, so it's Wednesday, uh, the twenty second, um, is this card here, which is the Eight of Cups. Um, this is a card. It is a, a, a sad. Well, it's walking away from sadness. Really, it's moving out of the sadness. Really, um, toward the Nine of Cups. You know, if you think about the number eight, the number eight is um, the card of, of infinity, um, uh, the number of infinity, I should say. So eights are all about cycles, <coughs> excuse me, emotions are, uh, excuse me, the cups um, suit in the tarot represents emotions. And it's as if there's an emotional cycle that you've been within Taurus that you are moving out of um this week um it looks like over over the next um couple of days before the end of the the month um whenever I see this card um I do feel um you know I, I, the similar energy in a way to the five of cups in that you know there's a there's a huge amount of sadness that that was around um due to a um potentially a relationship. Or it could have been um, a, a romantic relationship, or it could have been to do with work. Um, there's a lot of um, <clears throat> excuse me. So it could so it could be anything like that. But it was a, actually a very difficult time um, you have been going through. But the good news is you're moving out of that energy. Um, excellent, and um, going toward um, this energy of the three of swords. Now the three of swords is a card of you've already made investment, you've already put work and time and energy and effort into something that you're passionate about, that is something that's creative or something that's a true true reflection of you. It could be to do with your work. It could be to do with a relationship that you're passionate about, a person that you're passionate about. But when you have the three of swords, it's as if the, the investment that you've made, the time, the energy that you've put in toward building something, it's as if we can now, with the three of wands, anticipate um something new coming in now actually it's funnily enough actually i actually experienced this energy last week and i was i was feeling oh this is a really strange energy i'm, I'm enjoying it Um, i can i just felt like something was going to happen like something was going to come through that day and sure enough um i got something in the mail um that i had been expecting um and i was very happy about it and it's related to all those things i just said something that i'm passionate about obviously my business this business that i do um so i really felt that anticipation so i really feel like with the three of wands it is about being able to feel that things are about to shift being able to feel that things are about to change being able to feel that something's going to come through, something's going to happen, maybe something that you've wanted for a long time. <clears throat> Excuse me. If it's walking away from one relationship, it might be that some of you are wanting to start new cycles in love, wanting to start new... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, wanting to start new business ventures. 
um, ones that are more passionate, ones that you are more drawn to, wanting to fix relationships as well, okay? And yeah, I think the next card that we get out is the, um, the Knight of Pentacles. This is your card, Taurus. I mean, yeah, it's related to the Earth signs, that means Virgo and Capricorn as well, but it is really a representation of you. You know, you're the sign, the worker sign that digs your heels in. Like all earth signs, they work hard, they focus, but you're that worker sign that digs your heels in. Sometimes to the um, exclusion of all else or other areas may suffer, but that's only because your focus is about building something that is will stand the test of time. So if it is to do with work, for example, it might be that you are very diligently working away at, because it's obviously work, pentacles, <clears throat> excuse me, very diligently working away at improving something or, 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 um, uh, honing the um the procedures or the structures within your work within your business for others it is um you know i always link obviously it's earth energy i always link um this to uh, physical healing as well and when i say physical healing i mean healing from traumas for example healing from karmic cycles eight as indicated by the number eight and the woundings that that creates now i talk about wounding um, healing through that wounding and that being a um, a physical thing, um, but it's it's as if sometimes the wounds are so deep set that they become a part of who you think you are, and you know with this Knight of Pentacles, it's that no stone left un unturned. It's that absolute focus and dedication to overcoming and healing um, the things that the foundations in your life or the structures in your life or the emotional relationships in your life that have caused you pain, that have caused you to feel hurt, okay? So it's really great to see that there is movement here. There's movement with all these cards. There's movement with the, obviously the number eight, end of a cycle, moving toward your wish fulfillment into the nine of cups moving toward understanding of what it is within your heart that you want with with the eight you know the three of cups three of wands is this idea of anticipation waiting for things to come in and then the um having already put in effort and then the knight of pentacles as i said it's that diligence it's that focus on healing it's that focus on improvement it's that focus on building something solid okay so moving excellent so moving into september then for the first of september and um, we've got the world card and it's so nice to see this card you know when we have the world card here this is a this is a card saying you are beginning a new cycle you are um you are walking in in september to a brand new cycle so out of this energy completely the sadness the regrets um the the emotional baggage and i say emotional baggage because really that's the shorthand of the five of cups and i mentioned how there's a similar energy um with the eight of cups but it's as if you're moving out of it you're moving out of that um thing so getting rid of that emotional baggage you know realizing that because of the work that you've been doing because of the healing you've been going through uh, because of the the focus and the dedication you've put on to being able to build something solid whether it's a relationship whether it's work that you want you apply it the work that you've been doing it pays off because we get a brand new start we get a brand new world here we get a brand new cycle the start of a brand new cycle in september so let's look <clears throat> potentially excuse me, um, you know, what could, you know, what could not cause that, but what that might be about. So the next card we have out, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I had a bit of a coughing fit before I came on the screen. <laughs> um, we've got the Knight of Swords. Now, this card has actually been out quite a few times. And um, oh, do you know, I'm on Instagram and I follow a person, um, another a tarot person on Instagram and I can't remember what her name is now so I can't really talk to you about what she said but she she did a post anyway the other day about the night and I don't the nights and I don't really generally like to read other people's interpretations and I found it quite interesting actually um but anyway I'm going to tell you um she she talks about um the nights being a force 
And I agree with that, um, with that actually. I agree with the fact that the knights are a force, they're an energy, they're masculine, they're action, they take action. Um, masculine as in action, not masculine as in male or female. It doesn't matter whether you're a male or female. This is a card of taking action, taking swift action, because it soars with our communication, the way we talk to people, um, with our thoughts as well. It could be that you gain that clarity, um, a huge amount. I, I feel like though, what it is for you is that you, it's like the Knight of Swords is you embracing this energy. It's you embracing this new beginning. You're wanting to really go forward, go towards something. Remember you've walked away from the sadness. So you're walking into something new. This is about, you know, you have that confidence. And sometimes, you know, you, you we call, sometimes this is like, you are, you are right, but you're also wrong. You're right. You might it might talk about arguments or crosswords, but you know people have got um, the right to feel the way they feel and think the way they think. But in this instance, I don't get that. I get that this as a as a as an energy of speed, as an energy of you being focused and committed to moving forward. Now you know you're speeding up from the Knight of um, of Pentacles, um, which is the slowest moving energy, to the Knight of uh, Swords, which is one of the fastest moving obviously along with the the fire and um, the wands knight of wands and the next card <laughs> is this card here temperance now um, i don't know if i've mentioned this to you i've loved this energy this energy has been um really around for us all this year um since the beginning of the year um it's a real uh it's about listening to your intuition knowing when to act and it's about once we have taken that action, once we have taken that movement forward, it's about assessing, okay, how do I feel now? Now that I've taken this action forward, now that I've spoken my truth, now that I've gone toward the situation in this new world that I want, how does that now feel? Ask yourself these questions and sit with it. And then you then gain more clarity and then gain, understand what the next step is to take. Um, you know, it's a 14 is the, it's, a, you know, 10, 1, 5. So it's a 14 is the, is the temperance energy. And temperance is really, so it's got a 1 and a 4, which is new, new beginnings, initiations is the 1. And 4 is about foundations and structures. So it's about new foundations and structures. It's about, but it's also number 5, which is about change. So it's about the change in our structures, in our lives. And it's about trying to implement change in our lives, number 5 number one and initiate changes and structures in our life number four but it's the it's a it's word that it's what drives that change it's about being mindful with temperance about what is driving that change is it the passion that wants you are you passionate about this new world or is it fear that what that, that's pushing you forward that's what the temperance cards ask asks you to consider it's about what are these changes for now as you see i picked up the deck and this but I'll, I'll just show you what card was on the bottom it was the sun card it is the sun card so that's an excellent energy and um, i really feel like the, the reading's very straightforward actually i feel like you will you know um this feeling you know these feelings because you've been experiencing this cycle we know for you it's been quite a treacherous year taurus and um and a, and a few years I've, I've spoken to a, quite a few tauruses um on, on, my, on instagram and on facebook and on um on commenting on the videos and um yeah we've established that yeah it's been a hard you've been in a very difficult cycle taurus over the last we can't decide one year, two years, three years, some people since 20, some people five years. Um, so this is about the end of, of the difficult cycle that you've been going through, the end of that karmic cycle and a transformed new beginning. Um, you know, one is you, you have the tendency and you might want to rush now, pick up the pace of changing your life. That's what you might be inclined to do. And, and there's no sort of, not real negative with that picking up the pace of the change in your life but it's just about trying to recognize with temperance what are driving those changes so yes you want to have change because we've got the number one in the 14 one four we want to have change you, you want a new beginning the universe wants that for you as well but with the number four as well it's about recognizing why these changes have to be um, excuse me one and five plus four you know what i'm saying <laughs> why we are wanting these changes to be brought in okay what's the motivating factor okay and look at the cards on the top and the bottom 
we've got um the strength card eight dedication focus and um, you know even when you're weary um to, to continue to get back up to, to keep moving forward um to be strong and to be courageous and obviously we've got the symbol of infinity there and then finally we've got here the wheel of fortune i was going to pull more cards but i think that's that's actually what you need to that's your message it's actually come through quite clearly so um you know sorry the wheel of fortune is a number 10 number one but also one and zero so it's about you know with the number 10 the one the zero of the number 10 it's about um a new beginning number one but the zero is the the gateway the janus the uh, janus is um the god of you know january the month of january look back and look forward um the the, the god of do uh, entrances and exits and this is basically what the world is isn't it this is what the world is it's it's a choice do i go through the zero do i go through that door so with always with number 10 there's always a choice there's always an option that we have how we go through that door how we make um how we build our new world and what that looks like but i am so happy for you taurus to see um that there is actually a shift in your cycle you're going to begin a brand new cycle now so Oh, God, thank God, because it's been hard, hasn't it? So I really hope that you feel the difference. I know for Capricorns, we started feeling this. You're always a month behind us, um, Taurus. I know for Capricorns, we started feeling this energy, this, this shift in energy um, sort of last month. Uh, well, sorry, last month, this month, August. And um, we started feeling that shift in, the, in energy. So hopefully you guys going into, as I said, September, you'll start to feel that shift in energy as well. And you'll start to feel like you're moving on in, in cycles. So go for it, Taurus, and be happy happy okay i hope you like that video remember your august love readings are still available on my channel and i'll be back here next week around um because i'm very busy with my personal readings but i'll be back uh, next week with your september love readings you know the ones based on tree of life which as i said have gone down really really well and if you it's going to be wednesday when you see these videos if you would like a personal reading i'm more than happy to do it for you um my email address is keywisdomtarot dot no keywisdomtarot at gmail dot com. Um, so get in touch if you would like a personal reading from me. Um, and yeah, get your bookings, get your bookings in as well because I am already starting. I've already started taking bookings for next week, and I only do so many in a week. But anyway, if you need a booking, you'll you'll be able to get one. No problem. Okay. My loves, thank you so much, Taurus, for being here. It's been fabulous. It's been emotional as usual. This is a good reading for you. Really good reading. Oh, let me just take your little thumbnail. Do you know what? I need to do this. Oh, shall we have... Oh, look at this. We'll have this, shall we? I'm talking to you like you're still listening. There's no one on. If anyone is actually listening right now, I'd be extremely surprised. But this is how I take the thumbnails for your... Um, for your... Uh... Oh, let's have a three there as well for your... Facebook video and YouTube videos. Anyway, okay, I'm going. Thank you very much, Taurus. Take it easy, my loves. Bye.